Dr. Anna Sarna, pwedeng tawagin yung tatay Alan. Dr. Maria Anna, Claudio Paray. Kuya Nick, na pumoseno. This is Mr. Albert M. Rosarda, a.k.a. Sir Atrasor. Ako po si Daddy Jo, but you can call me Jo Chua. Dr. Adri Tenerife sa Kristano, a.k.a. Kuya Pro, at ito ang... Total Wellness, Juice Happiness. Beautiful smile. OPM, Boko, Pamilya Puna. Manny Matos. Isa pang negosyo tayo. At ato this level. Tinga sa akin. This is our perspective. Ito ang Sabado night. The Gear Shifter. Dito lamang po sa Kuya Pro TV. Isinusulong ang edukasyong ating yaman Na sa pag-aaral ay tiyak na makakamtan Sa formal man o di formal na pamamaraan Ang kanyang inaasam ay tunay nating tagumpay Isinusulong ang pagunlan ng ating bayan Nakikinig sa mga magulang at kabataan Kanyang pinagyayaman ang ating kaisipan sa tulong ng mga kwentuhang makabuluhan Tapay sa mga magulang at kabataan Kuya Kro! Itinatagunod ang ating kagalingan Kuya Kro! Atok sa mga chikiting at kanino man Ang storyteller na ating kinagigiliwan Si Kuya Prof, si Kuya Prof, si Kuya Prof Napasigla ang ating galing at talino Sa kanyang pagsusulat at pagkukwento Dahil tunay ngang magaling ang Pilipino Kaya sumali na kayo At kay Kuya Prof Pagkwentuhan tayo Kapay sa mga magulang at kabataan Itinataguyod ang ating kagalingan Patok sa mga chikiting at kanino man ang storyteller na ating kinagigiliwan Si Kuya Prof, si Kuya Prof, si Kuya Prof Si Kuya Prof, si Kuya Prof, si Kuya Prof Kuya Prof Mahalo na naman. It's Friday afternoon, ano? Magandang tanghali po and welcome to KP Television. Ito po yung channel that provides meaningful, useful, and life-changing tools and insights. Ano, viewers, the month of March as per proclamation number 227, series of 1988, is being observed as the month of the women's role in history. So in relation of that proclamation, this show is featuring women that made and still making their contributions in making our society a better one. So hello to Sir Alan Rosarda, no, watching from Cavite. 
This is Mr. Albert M. Rosarda, a.k.a. Sir Adrasor. Ang inyong ka-lunch date every Friday. Yes, that's from 12 to 12.30 in the afternoon. Dito sa show that listens and value your views. And this is our perspective. Yan, so you're tuned in to our perspective. And again, happy Women's Month sa mga kababaihan dyan. No? So as I have mentioned kanina, our theme for this month is focused on women empowerment. And of course, the women as an agent of change or a catalyst of change. I will be introducing to you our very special guest for this episode when we return. Balik na tayo, ano? So, of course, our guest for today's episode is uh, very special. Kasi isa siyang educational technology specialist sa Department of Education sa Central Office, no? Uh, she is also the current secretary of uh, the, uh, the Livelihood Educators Association of the Philippines o yung LEAP, L-E-A-P. Siya din ay isang Microsoft Office specialist. No, at holder siya ng Authenticated Digital Transcript Certificate coming from Microsoft Office. At syempre, isa din siyang creative educator. Aside from that, she is also a cosplayer. No? Dear viewers, our guest for today, Ms. Shella May W. Ma'am Shella, pakigroot mo naman ang mga viewers. Hello everyone! Good afternoon. I'm very thankful and honored to be guest here in Kuya Prof TV. So thank you very much po for the opportunity. Yeah, so thank you very much, Ma'am Shella May, no? So for gracing our show for today. Although, dear viewers, I would like to inform you na currently po kasi nagko-conduct ng seminar si Ma'am Sheila ngayon, ano? Kaya lang it's break time, so inago ko muna siya from her, from her, ano, from her, uh, seminar. So makakasama po natin siya for the for, for 30 minutes, no? So, uh, bago tayo magkwentuhan, Ma'am Sheila, no? Gusto ko muna ibigay yung ating question for today doon sa ating portion na I read it at the Philippine Star. So, our question for today is taken from the yesterday's issue of the Philippine Star. So, ang tanong natin, ano ang headline sa business section ng Philippine Star kahapon? That is Thursday, March 18. 2021. So if you have your Philippine Star na issue kahapon, tingnan nyo na kaagad yung business section and then i-comment po ninyo ang sagot ninyo dito and you will be winning uh, exciting prizes coming from the Philippine Star. And of course, this segment is brought to you by the Philippine Star, KP Television's partner in providing you meaningful, useful, and life-changing tools and insight. Yan. So, Okay, first one from you, dear viewers. This, uh, yung mga hihintayin namin, ah, yung mga correct answer ninyo. Okay, so Ma'am Sheila May, no? as I had mentioned a while ago, we will be discussing matters about women empowerment and the women as an agent or catalyst of change. Kasi ikaw yung isa sa mga pinili ko ng mga guests kasi alam ko na you are empowered as a woman and you are also empowering not only women but also other people. So, ang unang tanong natin, no? meron tayong, ikaw ma'am Shelly Meno, as a woman, you are uh, playing several roles. No? Ikaw ay isang daughter, you are a sister, you are a friend, and you are also a girlfriend, di ba? And also a pra uh, professional practitioner. So, Ma'am Sheila, simulan natin ang sharing mo with how uh, you did empower yourself. No? Paano mo in-empower yourself? And how do you continuously empower yourself para makayanan mo yung mga roles na nabanggit ko kanina? Ma'am Sheila, may... Yes po, sir, I empower myself through continuous learning and improvement. So I do believe that as an educator, we have to be open to new learnings na hindi lamang within the four corners of our classroom. Maraming life lessons na matututunan natin from our parents, colleagues, and also even our students as well. So 
also naman, as a normal person, ayan, marami tayong mga pinagdadaanan katulad ng losses, failures, ayan, na madalas na naging dahilan ng ating mga frustration. Pero lagi nating tatandaan na lahat ng bagay ng na yun ay it's just a process that will empower us more. Wow, tindi talaga ng guest ko, di ba? Talagang, <laughs> ano ha, di ba? Talagang, oh, tama naman yun, di ba? Continuous learning. Kasi yung, yung kasing learning, hindi lang natin nakukuha yan sa four corners of the classroom. Especially right now, ano, na nasa sa online learning tayo. Kung baga sa ano, yung mga hindi teki na tao, wala silang choice, but rather to try what is uh, the new normal. At ito nga itong online learning, no? At saka yung sabi mo nga kanina na napakaganda nung sinabi mo na yung mga pinagdadaanan natin. This is just part of the process. Yeah. So ang kuna sunod kong tanong man sila. Now, sino naman yung nagse-serve o nag-serve as an inspiration sa iyo para ma-empower mo yung sarili? So, for me to be considered myself as an empowered woman po, I can say that um ang pinaka-empowered woman na kilala ko po is my mother. So, She is the wind beneath my wings. Ayan. May wow. ano, may... <laughs> may mga wind beneath my wings tayo. Ah. Yes, po. And I can believe lahat naman tayo hindi magkakaila na yun po yung magiging sagot natin or magiging sagot ko. And also, may inspiration pa is my family. So lahat po nang yeah. ginagawa ko or gagawin pa in the future is for my family as well. Oo, oh, family siyempre. Kaya nga dati noon, remember, alam nyo viewers, ikikwento ko lang ng konti sa viewers natin. Si Ma'am Sheila May kasi nakasama namin yan sa isa sa mga trainings namin when we were taking our NC2 certification sa TESDA. Tapos, ang sinasabi niya lagi niyang pangalan sa kanyang FBI Watang. Yun, noon ko lang nakita when I was really searching na yung palang watang ay family name ng mother niya, di ba? So, ganun niya kamahal yung kanyang family name. At talaga, yun nga, sabi nga ni Ma'am Sheila, hey, utang niya or ang kanyang inspiration ay ang kanyang mother. Siguro it's also tama yung sinabi ni Ma'am Sheila, no? lahat tayo, inspiration natin ang parents natin, ang mga magulang natin, no? Pero, ang... <coughs> Ma'am Sheila, ano-ano yung mga challenges that you have encountered now na meron tayong pandemic as a woman? And po, as a woman, kasi sir, parang instinct na rin or nasa ugali rin na <coughs> ng pagiging isang babae is yung pag-aalala. Ayan. Nandun kasi ako, nandun kasi ako, sir, sa malakas yung ano ko yung lagi ako nag-aalala and then mataas yung anxiety ko. Ayan. Ayan. So, so siguro. What will, opo. Oh what will happen to me, to my family, ayan, lalo na sir, concerning sa health, ayan, tapos yung work natin na sanay tayo na, na pumapasok sa work regularly, tapos ngayon, work from home talaga tayo, so, ang taas talaga sir, ng level ng anxiety ko talaga, on that yeah. time, last year talaga. Uh-huh. Pero siguro na naman, Ma'am Sheila, ano, ngayon, na overcome mo na yung anxiety na yan, and you're still overcoming, no? If I were you, Uh, panoorin mo yung isa sa mga shows ni Kuya Prof dito sa KP Television. Yung kanyang feature, ang kanyang feature kanina doon sa gear shifter niya, no? That is from 10 to 11, no? Ang ganda kasi it is something to do with ano yung mga principles na dapat mong gawin kapag ikaw ay nasa work from home. At maganda yung mga tips niya. Six yung principles na yun, ano? Pero Ma'am Sheila, as we continue, ano, pag-usapan natin yung pagiging sekretary mo sa Livelihood Educators Association of the Philippines at syempre, as an educational technology specialist ng DepEd Central. Pero we have to pause for a while for a few reminders coming from our KP Television, the channel that provides meaningful, useful, and meaningful uh, and life-changing tools and insights. Babalik po tayo, dear Lord. Kuya
Okay, so what you have just seen are the various programs that the KP Television, the channel that provides meaningful, useful, and life-changing tools and insight, has prepared for all of you, dear viewers. So don't forget, no, please like, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell button dyan po, so that you will be reminded of what we are offering here at the KP Television. Yan. So, Ma'am Sheila May, before um, go to break, no, kanina, uh, pinag-usapan natin yung uh, tungkol sa pagiging daughter mo, sister mo, friend mo, no? And to continue, no, pag-usapan naman natin yung professional side mo, being a professional practitioner. So, can you tell us something about this Livelihood Educators Association of the Philippines? So, yung LEAP, yung LEAP. Ano ba tong LEAP na to? So, Sir, LIP po or the Livelihood Educators Association of the Philippines po is a non-stock and a non-profit organization that foster fellowship among educators, particularly po under the TVL, the TLE, the health and the home economics po na educators natin. So, ang aim po talaga ng, ng LIP Ayan, as being the secretary po, is to have the fellowship and also paano natin may improve ano po yung mga mag-trainings or seminars na pwede natin ibigay sa ating mga co-educators. So yun yeah. po yung aim ng LIP. Mm -mm. So masasabi natin na ako, yun nga, no? natutuwa ako kasi you're the secretary general of LIP. No? So ang ganda ng pangalan, LIP, no? parang uh, sore high, no? And yes, then, uh, sa tingin ko talagang because you are there as a woman, isa ito sa mga paraan kung paano mo bilang isang babae mas mai-empower yung sarili mo through the experiences. At saka, syempre, yung mga members nito mga lit na to, no? So, Ma'am yes, Sheila May, ano ba yung uh, you are an educational technology specialist dito sa DepEd Central, no? Ano ba yung scope ng work mo as an educational technology specialist? Okay po. So as an educational technology specialist po, our work is to provide educational technology capacity building program to transform the teaching and learning practices aligned with responsible, ethical, and effective use of ICT. So it means po na kung kasi sir madalas ngayon kapag meron tayong mga demonstration teaching or kapag kinaklas observation yung ating mga kapatid na guro, ayan mga kaguro natin, um, hinahanapan sila ng ICT integration. So wag na silang mag-alala dahil nandito po kami sa um, EdTech at the unit na tutulong sa inyo kung ano yung mga tips and tricks and then we, we conduct different seminars, trainings around the Philippines po yan. So marami po kaming programs na ginagawa ngayon. Hindi lamang po para sa, para sa mga um, dito lang sa taga NCR kung hindi sa buong Pilipinas. So looking forward po ako na one day, ayan, Makasama ko rin po si Sir Albert or ma-invite din po namin siya. I-invite ka din namin, Sir. <laughs> Naku, baka wala akong masyado ma-share pagdating dyan sa technology integration na yan. Kasi alam mo naman tayo, makwento lang tayo pero hindi ako ganun sa TV. Pero dear viewers, no, dadilig niyo po yan kay Ma'am Sheila May. No? Napakalaki talaga ng maitutulong niya no, as member dito sa technology uh, something nitong DepEd. Lalo na nandyan siya bilang isang specialist. So, we look forward at saka, Ma'am Sheila, more travel ito, no? Kapag hindi na tayo yes, pandemic, so siguro hindi ka na namin matatagpuan sa office but rather, uh, kapag ano, meron ka ng mga engagement sa iba-ibang provinces, sa ibang, ibang lugar yes, sa Pilipinas and mas ano natin, mas makiklaim mo ngayon na talagang you are really empowering people as a women, di ba? So, napakaganda ng opportunity na na ibigay sa iyo at uh, tinanggap mo naman yung opportunity coming from DepEd Central to be part of their team para mas ma-empower natin yung mga tao, hindi lang kababaihan ano, kundi yung mga kapatid, yung nga sabi mo yung kapatid natin dito sa uh, sa trabaho natin bilang isang guro, no? So Ma'am Sheila no, dear viewers, no? Babalik tayo later pero i-greet muna natin ang ating mga March celeb birthday celebrators.
Yan. So, syempre, isa sa mga bagay na hindi natin kalilimutan dapat ay yung ano natin, no? yung ating mga birthday celebrations. And, syempre, I would like to greet lahat ng mga March birthday celebrators. Pero, first on my list ay ang ating very special guest for today, si Ma'am Shela May. Belated happy birthday to you last March. Diba? So, Ma'am Shela May, no? So, hindi nagsisimula ang buwan ng Marso dahil ang simula nito ay ang birthday mo. And I would like to greet you belated happy birthday. And thank you, thank you very much from Kuya dito sa KP Television. And of course, from my show dito sa Our Perspective for gracing our show for today. Belated happy birthday. So, happy, happy birthday din today, no? Kay Sim Coronel, no? Si Sim, hello Sim. I hope that you are watching right now together with Joseph, no? Happy birthday din kay Jen Agtani, of course, kay Ella Dejia, kay Nina Ramos, and Fritz Rainier Bautista. Ano, bele, uh, happy birthday sa'yo, uh, Fritz, regards kay Daddy, ano? And of course, happy birthday din kay Shane Chris Lorenzo, kay Mark Arsena, and also to Jessica Mara Cruz, si Marian Eric Esquivel Garcia, happy birthday to you. Uh, sa aking estudyante na doktor na ngayon, ano, si Doc Christian Jorge, happy, happy birthday to you. And then of course, kay Tina Sabino. Hello, Tina. Hello in regards to our uh, mga estudyante dyan sa St. Michael's Institute. And of course, eto ito sa mga good friend natin, si Jose Paulo Lapus from Los Angeles, California. No? Pao, hello, happy birthday to you. And of course, happy viewing din, Pao, to your wife, si Rose at sa yung mga very lovely daughter na sina Naomi and Isabel. And of course, hindi ko din kalilimutan si J.B. Lim San Jose. Happy birthday to you din, ano? And of course, sa isa sa ating mga good friends, si Ma'am Josephine Garino. Siya po yung wife ng dati nating teachers sa Kulay de San Juan de la si, si Sir Edgar Garino. And of course, uh, happy, happy 91st birth anniversary to my Papa Jose Ojena, no? Happy birthday in heaven, Papa Jose. And happy, happy wedding din kay Sir June Samora. No, later po, Kuya Prof and uh, the rest of uh, mga friends ni, Kuya, ni Sir June will be there para sa kanyang wedding. So, Sir June, ha, uh, ha, happy wedding sa'yo. At saka, uh, Ma'am Sheila May, baka meron kang gustong batiin ng happy birthday o meron kang gustong kasalamatan for your hair and makeup. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Ma'am... <laughs> Ayun, yes, sir. Mag-aala mag, mag, ko, babati lang ako, sir. Siyempre, first of all, gusto ko mag-thank you kay Kuya Prof, TV, and also sa'yo, Sir Albert, for inviting me today. And also, I would like to greet po my superintendent um, ng SDO Las Piñas, Dr. Joel T. Terecampo, and also my very supportive principal, Dr. Maria Teresa B. De Los Santos, and also my hardworking co ed tech specialist now na ngayon at yung mga teachers po na nagkakaroon ng last day of the in-service training. At syempre po to my loving family and friends, binabati ko kayong lahat lalo na po kay Ma'am Chanel na live na live na nanonood ngayon. Sana oh. mag-guest mo rin siya dito, Sir Albert. Ayan. And also, Sir oh. Albert, to your wife, kay Ma'am Amor. Ayan, Ayan. Ma'am Amor na yung tawag oh. kay Ma'am. So, kay po kay Ma'am. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> See you soon oh. po. Oo. Oh. Ma'am Sheila, no, talagang kawawa si, ano, si Ma'am Chanel doon sa exchange of uh, message natin doon sa Facebook page mo. Ano. Pero I'll see to it na may invite ko dito si Chanel kasi sabi mo nga kanina, no, madami din siyang may share dito sa mga viewers natin. At talagang naniniwala talaga ako sa kasabihan na ang kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan kasi you are the new breed of educators and I am really, I am truly very proud of you. So, uh, tingnan nga natin kung meron kaya tayong nanalo, no? Yan, sabi ni Ma'am, ano? Sabi ni Ma'am, A. Hey, Rosarda, nice to see you, Miss Watang. Yan, you go this, uh, ano, you go, go this, da, yan, di ba? Go, go, go. Ang sabi nga ni Kuya Prop, no, sabi niya, dapat daw pala, ang pangalan mo ay Sheila March. Hindi Sheila May. Hindi kasi first day of March, alam mo. Talagang, ano, talaga, talagang, ano tayo, no? Meron kayong nanalo? Meron bang nag-ano? Ayan, so sabi ni Alan Rosarda, may comment siya dito, Dennis Uy sells control of to go to SM investment. 
in 6 million buy out. Yan ba yun? Parang hindi yata yan, no? Style, yeah, style, <laughs> stocks climb as investors take you from Wall Street. Naku, sayang, ano, Sir Alan, kasi hindi yan ang correct answer natin. Sa business section, yung business section ng yesterday's issue. Baka yung hawak ni Sir Alan ngayon is yung today's issue. So, Sir Alan, magagamit mo yung today's issue ng Philippine Star sa show nila, mabukas ng gabi, kasi sila Kuya, si Kuya Prop at saka si Daddy Joe, ang aking favorite na singer-songwriter. Meron silang show dito na Sabado Nights. No? So, Sabado Nights, bukas ng Sabado, magagamit mo Sir Alan yung newspaper mo kasi magbibigay siya ng question. Pero unfortunately, mukhang wala tayong nanalo ngayon sa ating uh, sa ating I read it at the Philippine Star. Yan. So Ma'am Sheila, no, before tayo mag-end ng episode, no, talagang very interesting yung ating uh, program for today. And thank you very much for sharing your time with us at talaga namang through you na empower natin ang mga kababaihan. No? So siguro, Ma'am Sheila May, no, before we end, bigyan mo naman ng thoughts to founder ang ating mga viewers. So for our thoughts to founder po is, empowering women starts with you. So show your support for the women around you by showing them that they matter and reminding them about their strength. So there are a lot of challenges we face right now, but do not forget to pray. So, God bless us all po and have a great day. Yan. Yeah. O, si dear viewers, ano, you got it straight from our very good friend, si Ma'am Sheila March. No? Sabi ni Kuya Prof. <laughs> Sheila May. So, si Sheila March. No? Again, from the bottom of our hearts, from KP Television, from my show, Our Perspective with Sir Adelson, maraming maraming salamat na alam ko talaga na you are very busy. Kasi ngayon yung last day ng ng inset training niyo ano yan oh, yes, so sir, yes, thanks sir. god it's friday no and then si Iro pala no hello Iro sana nagkaroon pa ng time na mapanood kahit na busy ka rin as a resource person sa inset training niyo pero again thank you thank you very much ma'am Sheila din no so thank you very much at syempre sa inyo din dear viewers maraming maraming salamat for staying with us for the past 30 minutes no i would like to see you again next friday syempre same time po, same channel. Dito lang po yan sa KT Television. The channel that provides meaningful, useful, and life-changing tools and insights. At syempre, dito lang yan sa show that listen and value your views, ang our perspective. Yan, mabuhay ang mga kababaihan. Sabi ni Sir Alan, panoorin nyo rin po si Sir Alan every Monday sa kanilang show na uh, wellness and then choose happiness, no? So this has been Mr. Albert M. Rosarda, a.k.a. Sir Adresor. I want you to stay safe, have a nice weekend, and God bless everyone.